Hi, I'm Andrew from andrewcbancroft.com, and today I'm bringing you a test-driven development example for iOS in Swift. The goal of this video is to teach you how to write a unit test to verify that a method was called. I'll begin in Xcode 6.1.1 with a side-by-side -side view of my test case class and my primary view controller class. This is what Xcode generated for me when I chose to create a new single view application. Imagine a scenario with me. Suppose that as part of your application's requirements, you must show an alert view after your primary view loads. How would you go about using test-driven development to implement this feature? Well, we'd write a test, of course. I'll name it something appropriate like test UI alert view shows after view loads. Next, I need to create an instance of my view controller class so that I can test it, but immediately I run into trouble. It seems that my test case class can't see my view controller class. Thankfully, it's a simple fix. Simply add the view controller class to your test target. With everything compiling now, we can move to the next line of test code. First off, in order to test my view controller's alert view functionality, the alert view has got to be visible to my test. The easiest thing for me to do at this point is to assume that there will be a property on my view controller that I can set. This allows me to perform a kind of dependency injection, known as setter injection. All it really means is that the property is dual purpose. When the app runs on my iPhone, I'll use a real UI alert view. But when I run it in my tests, I can plug in a UI alert view that I control the behavior of so that I can verify what I need to in my tests. The ability to swap in a kind of alert view that I control is really the magic sauce of this whole test-driven operation. In order to know whether or not a UI element was quote-unquote shown in a unit test without actually showing something on the screen in a simulator or device, I need to invent something known as a test double, a fake object, if you will. My fake alert view will have some special capabilities that allow me to know whether the show method was called. At the same time, it needs to be able to be substituted in my view controller for a real UI alert view. Since Swift supports object-oriented design, we have inheritance at our disposal here. I'll create a nested class inside my test function called FakeAlertView. Notice it's a subclass of UIAlertView. What's great about this is that it meets both of my testing requirements. I can control its behavior, and it can be substituted anywhere a UI alert view is needed. I'll finish fleshing out this fake object in a minute. Now that Xcode isn't complaining about not knowing what a fake alert view is, I'll turn my attention to a new compiler complaint. I don't have an alert view property on my view controller yet, so I'll add one. There's just a little more setup that's needed in order to be able to verify that the show method was called. Since show doesn't return anything, we need some way to know that its logic was executed. I'll do two things to expose this. Number one, I'll have a boolean property called show was called on my fake alert view that is initially set to false. Number two, I'll override the show method in this fake UI alert view subclass. Inside the method body, I'll reassign the value of show was called to true. That will be enough for me to use inside an XCT assert, which is coming up. We're nearing the finish line here. All that's left to call is my view controller's view did load method and write my assertion. The only thing I tell you to make note of here is that we need to cast the view controller's UI alert view instance to a fake alert view so that we can access the show is called property. Running the test at this point should produce a failing test, which is exactly what we want, because there's no code that calls the alert view show method in view did load. The last step in this adventure is to write the production code to pass the test. In view did load, I call my alert views show method and rerun the tests. And we're green. 
which means we've managed to successfully verify that a method was called. Thanks for watching. I have other resources related to Swift and iOS development at andrewcbancroft.com.